Hi folks, Margie Ann with Margie Ann Art. Want to show you glass before I cut it up. And what inspired me on this piece of glass is I need to make a sky for Chicagoland. And I went snooping around at a glass store, which I really love, and found this beautiful piece of glass. I think it looks like the sky with the clouds in it and stuff like that. I just think it's beautiful. Uh, I don't know which part of the, the glass I'm going to use. I only need about a third of it. So I just don't know which part I'm going to use yet. And I thought I'd let you folks in on the, the process, what I go through to do this and let you enjoy a piece of glass the way it comes from when they, when they make the glass makers make the glass. As you can see here, now see I had to cut part of it off and this is the end of the glass. And I just, I just love it. I never throw away an end cut. I just think they're so beautiful. I keep them all the time. And I utilize them in, on, on different pieces of glass and pieces of art. If you look at the texture and all that, beautiful. Just gorgeous. So pretty. Don't throw them away. Well, anyway, here's some more uh, part of the glass that I had to cut off. And the reason why I did this is I wanted to make a test because this piece is going to be for Chicagoland and I wanted to make it where it was getting to be an evening sky. So I wanted the purples in there, the oranges in there, the pinks in there, the mauves in there. I wanted all these beautiful colors in there. So I did a test with the frit. I hate it. It turned out horrible. I don't like it at all. So I'm there. I still want to do that. Can you see why I don't like it? Ugh. It's horrible. Doesn't look right at all. Doesn't look right at all. But you can see why I would like to make an evening, kind of an evening uh, sky. So here, here's plan B. Let's see if we can put behind it some something like that. Now I, I'm starting to think I like this better than, you know, putting it in the kiln and that. I think I like that better. And then, uh, let's see, we've got some orange too here. Let's see, there were two different oranges and two different yellows, and one I liked more than the other, so I'm gonna show you the ones I like, you know, see? But of course, I'll do it better. It won't be all streaky like that. It'll be streaky in the right places and that. So, I just wanted you to see some of the things that I go through when I do make a piece of art and just, how wonderful the glass is. It's my palette and uh, people that work with uh, oil paints and that, they get to use their oil paints in very special ways. Well, I get to use my glass in a very special way. And every piece of glass is different and every piece of glass should inspire you to be happy and see something in it. So anyway, this is Margie Ann with Margie Ann Art. I'm hoping you're enjoying just this plain piece of, well, it's not plain, just this beautiful piece of glass, and it's kind of almost natural state. Thanks.